Hi, I'm Wei Ming Tan. I'm a Manhattan, New York property broker, and this is about how to buy overseas property. And we represent a lot of foreigners who are buying property here uh, in Manhattan, New York. So these are just uh, some pointers. The first slide here are examples of our deals. The one on the left is a three bedroom in Tribeca that is going to close in about two weeks. Notice that there's dual exposures to the south as well as to the west. And we specifically targeted buying a three bedroom, uh, anticipating the high demand from um, the market uh, post pandemic. The one in the middle was uh, purchased by our foreign client. We booked it at pre-construction, waited for two years for completion, and then it was completed and we rented it out uh, almost right away. The one on the right here, it's um, also or it was a pre-construction purchase as well and I'm just showing you here um, the quality of the bathroom. These are one of the things we look for, uh, a high-end bathroom that has a wow factor and it helps a lot in terms of attracting tenants who are going to uh, pay a premium rent for the apartment. How to buy overseas property? So these are the three points. The first is don't buy property from an overseas property show. Why is that? It's because successful projects do not have to go abroad to sell to foreigners. There's a lot of expenses, there's a lot of time, there's a lot of headaches involved uh, for a developer to organize these road shows. And I'm referring to these shows where um, they have an international property show at a five-star hotel uh, to market to uh, foreign buyers. Um, like here in New York, the successful uh, developments, they are also locally and foreigners who are buying in these new developments, they would engage a local broker and that is how they get into these uh, projects. The second point here is engage a top buyers broker in the foreign country. Um, you want to have a buyer's broker because the buyer's broker is going to represent your, the buyer's best interests. Um, it's very difficult for you to decide if you are only dealing with the seller's brokers. For example, if you go to a property show, you are going to have agents representing the different developments. And of course, they are all going to be pitching their respective developments. So it's a one-sided conversation. As a buyer, you need someone who is knowledgeable and who is on your side, who will be able to tell you what the downsides are to objectively evaluate the upsides and the downsides. And that is where a buyer's broker comes in. Um, the third point here is have a team in the foreign country. You need the broker, you need the lawyer to negotiate and uh, finalize the contract, you need the banker to arrange the financing, and the accountant to prepare tax returns every year. Usually the broker would bring all these players together, but the uh, point is that you need to have a team, a reliable team who's going to help you oversee the completion of the transaction as well as uh, manage the property on an ongoing basis. So these are three uh, points as a rough guidance to you who is uh, perhaps looking to buy property in New York, London, uh, Dubai, Paris, wherever the case may be, uh, from someone who deals with uh, foreign buyers all the time. That's a brief bio of myself and thank you for your time.